Into the dark Found by the lake We were so close for those of you who are new, my name is Jessica, and for those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming today's video on how I gave birth naturally. This is just like my own tips and tricks, how I did it. I'm not saying it'll work for everybody, but hopefully it'll work for you. So if you are watching this and you are currently expecting, congratulations, I am so happy for you. And if you are watching this and you are thinking about giving birth naturally, I promise you, is not as scary as you think. Now, when I was pregnant, I would watch hundreds and hundreds of videos of, you know, births and pregnancies and all of that, and I was scared. Now, my mom gave birth naturally, so it kind of like pushed me to give birth naturally. Whenever it came to the time where I was in labor, it started around 11 p.m., and I thought it was like Braxton Hicks only because I was I was just in denial the whole time when my contractions started They were light. So I just breathed through them um, You know breathe in through your nose out through your mouth kind of channeling energy to them Instead of viewing contractions as pain, which don't get me wrong. They are painful view it as an energy What I was doing was that I was imagining Ella in my belly and like kind of imagining her going through the birth canal really understanding what my body was going through so i read a lot of books and i watched a lot of videos and documentaries and i educated myself while i was pregnant so that i could understand what my body was going through so as my contractions were happening like i said i was breathing and breathing it as energy and i would imagine in my belly a bright light now instead of wishing the pain is over just accept the pain so back then i used to be hardcore at the gym hardcore at the gym and i watch a lot of motivational videos what i learned from one of them is that pain is temporary and i've like lived by that ever since it's true pain is temporary it's not going to last forever you're not going to be in labor forever and sooner than later you'll be holding your baby or babies if you're pregnant with twins or triplets or whatever any more than that so as you're having your contractions just imagine your baby's face view it as more of like a happy thing than like a painful and like dreadful thing don't get me wrong there were some times while i was in labor i couldn't wait for it to be over i was like damn it hurts but i made it through and so will you easily easily as i was going through labor i had my meditation music playing and i would focus on the sound of the meditation just accepting what was happening and sort of meditating the whole way through my big thing was i didn't want anybody talking during contractions because it was time for me to focus so what i would do is i would close my eyes i would breathe in and as i was breathing out i was channeling it to where the pain was and i was kind of like alleviating the pain through my breath don't get me wrong it didn't take away the pain at like so much but it did help with the pressure austin was there thank god he was super super helpful and he really respected the fact you know that i wanted everybody to be quiet and everybody who was there was pretty respectful of the way i wanted things so just let the people know who are around you what you want you know if you want it to be a relaxed or more chaotic or more funny or whatever it may be however you want your birth talk to people and let them know how you're feeling because Nobody knows, you know, what you want. Also, another thing is, I kind of mentioned this before, but while I was in labor, all I could imagine was Ella. I could not wait to meet her. I couldn't wait to hold her. Just thought to myself, the moment I push her out, like, it's done. It's over. I'm no longer in labor. And whatever I have to deal with later on, I'll deal with that when it comes. You know, I was scared of tearing and all of that, but I did tear. It's a whole nother story but I was gonna face those like issues whenever it would happen so all I was focused on was the energy that was happening in my body and also think about your baby you know it's a lot happening for your baby as well they're coming into the world they're traveling through your birth your little birth canal they're traveling through your birth canal I was just imagining her coming through the birth canal 
and her little face, her little feet, her little toes, and the fact that I'd be able to hold her soon, and everything that I couldn't wait for while I was pregnant, that's all I could think about. Prepare your mind, you know? Just don't, don't push it away throughout your whole pregnancy. Just really prepare for that day. Don't view it as something scary. View it as so, such a beautiful moment. Can you imagine, like, how beautiful that is you are you are so powerful you're bringing a child you're bringing your child into this world with your body with with your with love you know every every contraction signal love through your body and and happiness and just like a connection with your baby you know because there's a lot going on for your baby as well every contraction they feel as well so kind of you know sympathize the moment and just like appreciate the moment because if I could go back to that day, I would. And it was so painful, but it was just such a, an amazing moment to like live through. It was crazy to think that I could bring a child into this world with my very own body, without you know any medication. And girl, if you need medication, do you. I am not here to bash anybody. I'm just, I just wanna tell you guys how I did it. And if you wanna hear it, then you're clearly watching this video because you wanna know. But you don't need anybody but yourself. Women have been doing this for years and years and years. And they, they did it and they're fine. And after right after I had Ella, the moment I pushed her out, I didn't feel anything. I literally nothing. She was laying there and the euphoria that I felt, the love, the happiness, just so many things going through me. So I didn't feel anything. The only thing that I felt afterwards was that I tore, but that's a whole nother thing. But like, you know, the, the whole labor, out of my mind. Out of my mind, it was gone. Those 15 hours that I had worked so hard, out, out the door. Like nothing had ever even happened. I just got up and I just, I gave birth at uh, 3.30 p.m. and I was home by 7.30 p.m. I'm here to tell you that you can do it. Your body is made for this, you are made for this, you are strong enough, Your you, you held them for nine months. You are strong, you know? But yeah, so that is how I gave birth naturally without an epidural. I hope it helps some of you. Comment down below how many weeks you are and if you're having a girl or boy, if you're keeping it a surprise, tell me your story. I'm so excited. I love, love, love births and pregnancy and all that. So once again, congratulations. I'm so happy for you and I hope this helps just a little bit. Even if you got one little tip out of me, I hope it helps just a little bit. So thank you so much for watching guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it helped a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe if you like our content. Bye Googles!